Hello everyone. The case study of our group today is Azuma House. Azuma House is was one of the first works of well-known Japanese architecture, Tadu Endo, that was built between 1975 and 1976. As you can see in the picture, it is like a concrete box located in Sumiyoshi, a district in central Okasa, Japan, a busy Inoi, um community for working classmen that is very different from the traditional wooden built houses of the era. As for the exterior, we can only see two rectangular forms the overall outline of the building and the doorway in the elevation. That makes it look like a silent and private place. For the interior, the land area of the house is 57.3 meters square and the total constructed floor space is 64.7 meters square, divided into three equal size um, sections, two space and uh, patio. There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a dining room and a living room, and a courtyard. The courtyard in the middle of the royal house is open only to this guy, creates a did space cut off from the commotion of the city. At the same time, it invites light, wind, rain into the house that helps the space build a relationship with the environment. Therefore, the experience of the inhabitants will be different according to the different um, times of the day, um, different weathers, um, and different seasons. Azuma House is designed as a place for living. This is a representative example that Endo fights to create ample living space in a narrow areas. The concept of it is just as he says. In its simple special composition, its expressions of enclosure and the way light gives character to daily life spaces, the house encapsulates uh, my image of architecture. He believes that to change the drawing is to change society. Then we're going to have Eunice and Bella to talk about spatial strategy and material strategies of the house. Thanks.